Hi, I'm Ben Shinneberry with QK4 Engineers. I'm a land surveyor and our LIDAR project manager. We've opened up new ways of gathering information for our surveys, and one of those ways is using terrestrial LIDAR. The LIDAR scanner uh, will pick up in all 360 degree uh, full point cloud scans. And today we're scanning in the Big Bat Cave, which is owned by the Kentucky Karst Conservancy. And Ken Bailey has given me the opportunity to try out our LIDAR scanner in new and exciting ways. And so today we're just going to tell what we have done and then we'll follow up with a fly-through video of what we have scanned uh, through the cave and are building on. What we would like to do is make it all the way from the entrance outside, through the cave tunnel, along the corridor, and then out the other entrance. And right now we're about halfway through. Um, we've opened up and started within the main cavern hallway and are working our way through. The scanner uh, uses reference spheres. You can see the white spheres and we use them to triangulate our setup position. And it calculates based on the scan points on the outside of the sphere, the actual center point based on the radius. So that allows us to scan from any direction we can set them in front of the scanner and then use those same positions and leapfrog the scanner to the next setup. It allows us to have the same reference point from multiple positions. So as we go through the cave and as you see through the fly through of the point cloud, you'll notice the spheres in positions that we are referencing for the cave setup. LIDAR stands for light detection and ranging. It sends out a beam of light and then collects the reflection of that light beam and then measures and gives us an XYZ coordinate point for each point that it takes. When I start the scanner, it will start uh, rotating vertically and the prism that is rotating vertically spreads the light spectrum around vertically and collects points at uh, intervals for that point cloud. But then the scanner will move horizontally and rotate horizontally and vertically at the same time, giving us a full 360 degree scan of the environment. Whatever the scanner sees, it picks up and then records a XYZ coordinate point on that. And so I'm going to start the scanner. You'll see it start its uh, calibration and then the rotation of it and we won't stand here for the entire scan set, uh, which normally takes about eight minutes, uh, but at least you'll get an idea of how we collect. Normally when we're in the cave, we push start, we go and sit down and talk for the eight minutes, get back up, move our scan setup ahead to the next uh, tripod setting, and move along the corridor of the cave. You'll see the scanner uh, rotate slightly for calibration, and it's measuring how level the setup is. And once it has calibrated level, then the prism starts to spin. Once the red lights appear and it starts beeping, then it's actively scanning points, radially vertical spinning and horizontally tilting along the tripod setup. And so generally, the eight minutes that it takes for us to collect one setup, we will move ahead and uh, try and stay out of the scan beam of light and move on from there.